Hi, and welcome to this overview demo of Payments to Us. During this session, we're going to go about how to get started, taking of an online payment and that automatically creating a recurring payment, data validation where we'll see autocomplete on addresses, deduplicating of the online data entered with existing contacts inside your Salesforce, and how to manage a recurring donation. To get started, after installing from the App Exchange, Payments to Us will appear as an app under the nine dots in the top left hand corner. You then go to the About Payments to Us tab and press Create Samples. What this will do is generate the typical configuration setup that many organizations will use for Payments to Us, such as an online payment, donation with regular giving, managing of memberships, taking online and signing up for online training courses and events, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, subscriptions, and simple appeals. For today's session, we're going to go through an online donation with the option of regular giving. When I click the view now, that will take, will generate a form and show me the uh, details for me to take an actual payment right now. It is key to note that this is just using demo data, the background colors, the colors of the forms, the fields on the forms are all configurable and customizable by you. During this demo, we'll use this particular credit card shown here. So if I put in here, say, Tony Ming as contact's name, I'll enter in a, an email address. .com. And when I click into the address and start typing an address, you'll see that it comes up with some suggested addresses. This is going off to a data validation service so that I know that these are valid addresses. So if I need to uh, send some direct mail, then I know that it will get to that particular person. Uh, I'm going to choose monthly uh, payment and I'm going to put my name in here and a credit card and press the donate now. This will now go off to the payment gateway, transact the payment, transfer the funds to your merchant facility. If we go back into Salesforce and I now click on the payment transactions tab, I can see the payment has come through here. If I click into this particular payment, I can see that it's gone from a confirmation stage all the way to matching complete. So after it took the payment, it then generated a receipt, sent off the receipt, and then went through a matching and deduplication process. During that process, it looks at things like first name, last name, mobile, um, phone number, supporter number, address details, to see if it can find a contact inside your existing Salesforce. If it does, it links it to that. If it doesn't, then it will automatically create a brand new one. Some bits of information like first name are not quite as unique to a person as such a, as like an email. Like a first name, you might have Jen one day, Jenny the next day, or Jennifer the day after. So that's given a, a lower weighting, whereas a cell phone or email address is more likely to be unique and given a higher rating. Payments to Us will work with or without the non-profit success pack and will work with the person accounts as well. So I'll click into Tony here. And we can see all of those details that were entered online have come into his contact record. If we added custom fields to the online donation form, that could also update the contact record as well. Related to um, Tony is the address information that we've entered as well. Uh, related to Tony is um, a recurring payment that we had set up. It automatically created an opportunity uh, and we can also see the payment transaction is linked to this as well. Because I chose a monthly or a regular donation amount, that is why it created a reoccurring payment inside Payments to Us. You'll see that this reoccurring payment is active. You can see here that it's linked to Tony and that we've got um, you know, donation amount of $20 a month. You can see that they signed up today. Today was the date of the last payment date and then on the 12th of May uh, is when the next payment is scheduled to go out. We have a background process that wakes up every morning, says what uh, reoccurring payments are there in the system that are active uh, and have an next payment date on or before today's date. The system will attempt to charge the card. If it's successful, great, it just moves it on by another month. If it's not successful, it will update the declines management 
if it's been declined too many times in a row, that will then change the status to suspended max retries. There's a workflow behind the scenes that sends out an email to the cardholder. Thank you very much for your support. We've tried to charge your Visa card and have been unsuccessful. Click on this link to update your card details. The cardholder updates their card details. It changes it back to active. The next morning, the processor rakes up and is able to then successfully charge the card. So thank you very much for listening to our quick overview demo of getting started with payments to us.